Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. In today's video, we're learning how to make a leather fishtail bracelet. That's kind of like a paracord and leather combination. So going not in loop style on this one, using some uh, thin leather cord. And um, overall, I love the way this one turned out. You can kind of see the paracord underneath. So you can choose to use some contrasting colors if you want, depending on the type of uh, leather and paracord you use but just changing it up, mixing it up a little. So a bit of paracord, bit of leather. Hope you guys will enjoy this video. So remember guys, if you're looking for uh, paracord and all the stuff I use in this video, feel free to check out those affiliate links down below. All right, so that being said, let's get into the tutorial. So we're gonna start this bracelet out by making our knot and loop core. I like to just take my paracord, double it over. I'm gonna make a loop and I'm gonna make a loop with the right side Take the left strand and go over, under, over, over those three cords on the top there. Then that forms your Carex bend. Then we're gonna take the cord on the top, bring it past the cord above and bring it through the middle. The cords tend to only really want to go one way. And you can do the same on the bottom, take that cord past the bottom cord and put it through the middle to make your diamond knot. Now, of course, you don't have to use the diamond knot. I just like it because it's, you know, it's uh, easy, it's symmetrical, and it makes a good stopper knot, but you can use any sort of uh, stopper knot you want. Now, I've got my paracord on my jig, I've got my knot loop core on my jig, and I'm gonna start now with my leather cord. So, we're just going to double over our cord, get the midpoint right behind the knot and loop core, and we're just gonna tie the simple fishtail. I'm gonna take the right strand, put it through the middle and out to the other side. And do the same with the other side, right, uh, left side through the middle and out to the right. And from there, I'm just gonna tighten it up a little bit and you're just gonna continue that very same pattern moving down your paracord core. Okay, so right through the middle in between the core strands, pull it out to the left, then left side over to the right. Always make sure you um, do the same uh, strands over and over as in I did right first and then left. So always make sure you go in the same order. Otherwise, um, well, you'll see it if you do the mistake. So just a little bit of a closer look and notice how I'm pushing up on those um, leather strands. You're not gonna be able to get them fully, um, you know, super cinched up to each other like paracord because it is leather and it's just behaves a little bit differently but um, you want to try to keep it as consistent as possible pushing those leather cords up um, in between each weave so just continue that um, fishtail weave all the way down your core and um, yeah weave your desired length Now I've made my way to the very bottom of my knot and loop core, and you're going to finish it with both leather cords coming out through the middle there. So they're on the back side of the bracelet. And I'm going to have the cords, see how the uh, left cord is towards the left and the right is towards the right. Um, they're not really crossing over anymore from behind. Now I'm gonna take my FID, I believe this is my type two, the mid-size FID. I'm gonna screw that onto the end of one of the strands. And then you're just going to tuck it underneath into the, um, underneath the first three weaves there. See, right under those first three and push it all the way through. You can go under more than three if you want, um, but I think three is fine. It should be plenty secure. So I just pulled that through all the way through, get the, all the excess through. And then from there, you're just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna unscrew my fid off of that leather cord and get it onto the other cord. And you're just gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So again, just get those cords under the first three and be careful not to um, you know, pierce the um, paracord underneath. That tends to happen with pointier fids. All right, so pull that through. Uh, you don't need to pull too tight, but get it just so it's nice and firm and nice and cinched up. 
Okay, so now our excess leather cords should be secure and we can uh, finish it off from there. And of course, we're just going to trim off the excess leather cord. I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and cut them off. You want to cut them off um, as close as possible to the um, the bracelet. And if, and this being leather, of course, there is no need to melt the cords. You can um, you can color in those little ends with a marker or not if you want. But yeah, there's no need to melt them because it's leather and it will not melt. Uh, with the excess cord on the diamond knot there, we're going to clip that off. And this being paracord, we can melt. All right, so I'm just going to take my jet lighter as usual to it. Just melt it a little bit, no need to burn it black. And I'm just going to take my knotter's tool, just press down on there, get it nice and smooth or nice and patterned, and there we go. And there we have it, we are finished. There is my leather paracord fishtail bracelet. And I think this one turned out quite nice. The leather does behave a little bit differently compared to paracord, of course, but um, I love the look of it, especially on the wrist. It looks great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you guys want access to the um, exclusive monthly tutorial, as well as the monthly giveaway, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is in the video as well as down below. All right, so guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. I will most definitely see you on the next video. Bye.